Next, we'll review hemophilia, the oldest known hereditary bleeding disorder. Inherited through an X-linked recessive gene, the disease primarily affects males. Low levels or complete absence of a blood protein essential for clotting causes both of the two major types of hemophilia, A and B. People who have hemophilia A lack the blood clotting protein, factor VIII, and those with hemophilia B, also called Christmas disease, lack factor IX. Both can result in uncontrolled bleeding from wounds and into the joints, muscles, and other body tissues. The severity of the disease is related to the amount of clotting factor in the blood. About 70% of children with hemophilia have less than 1% of the normal amount and have severe hemophilia. Just a small increase in the blood level of the clotting factor to 5% of normal results in mild hemophilia with rare episodes of bleeding, except after injuries or surgery. The signs and symptoms include the cardinal sign of hemarthrosis, that's bleeding into the joints, plus excessive bleeding from infant circumcision or any break in the skin, bruises in varied stages, hematuria, decreased hemoglobin and hematocrit, elevated white blood cells and platelets, nosebleeds, bleeding gums, and in adolescent girls, abnormally prolonged menstrual flow. Complications of hemophilia include uncontrolled bleeding, permanent crippling from hemarthrosis, muscle contractures, intracranial bleeding, hypertension, and renal impairment. Diagnosis begins with a complete history and physical. Lab tests include CBC, platelet count, prothrombin time, or PT, which would be normal, partial thromboplastin time, or PTT, which would be prolonged, bleeding time, normal, and liver studies to rule out other causes of bleeding disorders. The primary medical treatment is replacement of the missing clotting factor. Products used include factor VIII concentrate, which is made from pooled plasma or a genetically engineered recombinant DDAVP, that's desmopressin, a synthetic form of vasopressin, is the treatment of choice for mild hemophilia. Other drugs are corticosteroids for hematuria and hemarthrosis, NSAIDs and analgesics, but keep in mind the possible effects they have on platelet function, and epsilon aminocaproic acid, which prevents clot destruction. While current treatment has greatly improved the outlook for most children who have hemophilia, others develop inhibitor antibodies that block the activity of clotting factors. When inhibitors are present in large numbers, very high and expensive quantities of transfused clotting factors may be required to control bleeding, and for some, may not be effective. The major cause of disability in children who have hemophilia is chronic joint disease, and life-threatening hemorrhage is a constant risk. Let's move on to your nursing management. First and foremost is to prevent bleeding and to recognize and control it. You'll avoid invasive procedures, venipuncture, and injections. When they must be done, you'll apply pressure to insertion sites after the needle is withdrawn. Assess old venipuncture sites and joints, urine, stool, and NG fluid for visible and occult blood. Aspirin or aspirin-containing products are contraindicated. You'll also want to prevent the crippling effects of bleeding. During bleeding episodes, elevate and immobilize affected joint. Encourage active range of motion after acute episodes and regular exercise in general. For pain management, you'll apply ice to the affected joints and administer analgesics. Your teaching for family support and home care will include the signs and symptoms of bleeding, prevention of bleeding, and nutrition counseling, basically a diet designed to support growth but to avoid excessive weight gain and to prevent constipation. And what about safety issues? The child will need protection from sharp edges and falls, plus avoidance of rough play and contact sports. You'll also cover administration of factory placement at home as indicated and genetic counseling. A great deal of progress has been made to reduce the exposure of children with hemophilia to transfusion transmitted diseases by making the blood supply safer and by providing replacement products from sources not involving blood.